Okay guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how we're going to create a very simple demo reel using Adobe After Effects. So I've opened up uh, After Effects and uh, I'm just going to minimize this a little bit. And on my desktop you can see that I've got these two movie files here. Now normally what you'd want to do is you'd want to have your movie files in a folder, but just for this purpose I've just put them on the desktop. Um, I'm going to drag and drop these, uh, left mouse button, just drag and drop these over here onto the project section of After Effects and I'm going to do the same with this one here and you can see now I've got these two little uh, movie clips that are in my projects uh, folder. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select one of these and I'm just going to drag and drop it down onto this little icon. Can you see that just there? I'm just going to release it and then what that does is it's taken all of the settings from that movie clip like the frame, the frame rate, the aspect ratio and now it's created on my workspace here, um, if I go into compositions and have a look under the composition settings, you can see here that it's created the width exactly the same as what the movie file is, uh, as, as well as the height, it's also imported the frame range. Um, and you can see here that the movie file here is uh, 8.11 seconds. Um, so my timeline down here at the moment, if I play this, you can see that it's chugging along. Now what we can do is we can actually load this into the into the RAM preview. So over here you'll see that we've got this little arrow with these lines on it. If you just select that, play it, and you'll see here that this little green bar line starts to go across the screen. And then once it's completed, you see now it's actually playing a lot smoother because it's imported this movie clip into the RAM. Okay, so the other thing that I want to do is I want to extend the timeline here. Obviously, I want to put my other movie clip at the end of this one. So I'm just going to stop that there. I'm going to come back on up into composition. And then in composition settings, I'm just going to make this, say, 17 seconds. So 17.00. Great. And then if I just take this time navigation slider and I just extend it, you'll see that now this is how long um, my demo reel is going to be. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop uh, the model turntable clip and I'm just going to put it underneath this one here. And I'm just going to buffer it up against the end of this one here and then that's going to play. Now of course when I start to move down here, you can see that it's chugging again. I have to load that back into the RAM preview. And then my little green line makes its way across to the end there. It might take a little bit of time. Perfect. And so now I've got my two movie clips. Now if I wanted to, I could load in a third movie clip, let's just say for this one I'll just uh, load in another one and I just load it in down there and have it buffer up against that one and then that would go back to the back to the next uh, to the next movie clip I'm just actually going to delete that one because we don't need that and then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this work area end and I'm just going to bring that so that it slides right up against the end of this one here um, so that when I render this out um, it's, it's not going to have all this uh, uh, black at the, uh, after this little clip here, so I'm just going to bring that one back. Sorry, it's a bit late. I'm a bit tired. I've got to go to bed soon. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to render this out. Um, so go back under composition, and just down here where it says add to render queue, I'm just going to add that to render queue. And here you can see it's, it's created another tab. Um, I'm in the render queue tab, but over here, if I wanted to, I could go back to my workspace um, and I can toggle between these two. So this is where I can activate the movie file and I can you know, change this so that maybe it only renders out, renders out say uh, that portion of my demo reel. But in this case, I want it to render out from the start and I'm just gonna clip it right at the end there.
Okay, so I'm going to go back to my render queue. Now the first thing that we've got to do, if you've added music or anything like that, you don't have to add music, um, but that's very easy to do. You import a mu uh, music file and then you can drag and drop that into its own layer. If you wanted to do that, you've got all these other really cool effects. But you don't need anything like that because this is just a really simple edit of these two together. Okay, so I'm going to go back into my render queue tab and you'll see that down here I've got these uh, these little yellow um, words. These are the things that I, I have to uh, take note of. At the moment I want to go into the lossless, uh, the output module, and I just want to select on that. Now by default it doesn't activate the audio file, so if you do have any music or anything like that and you want it to, to be in the final render, make sure that that's turned on. I don't have any audio so I might as well just leave it off. The other thing that we're going to do is we're up here where it's the format, it's set to AVI and that's correct, that's what we want, we just want it set to AVI. Um, but the one thing that we want it to do is we want to compress it. So over here where it says uh, format options, just come here and where it says video codec, video codec none, just turn that to TechSmith screen capture codec, that's a pretty good one. Make sure that that one's selected and then hit OK. Great and I've got my audio option off, that's alright. And now this one here, output 2, this is where the output file is going to be. So I'm just going to, once again, put that on my desktop, double click on that, and let's just give it a name, let's just call it Demo Real. And hit save. And then the next thing that we do is we just hit this render button over here. Okay, hit the render. Fantastic, you can see our little progress bar, this yellow line that's coming all the way across. It's moving pretty quickly, which means that I think we're in business. If it was moving very, very slowly, that means that this is going to be a huge file. This could be like a gigabyte, 1.5 gigs. Um, that little sound means that it's all done. But if it moves across the screen, uh, you know, at that sort of speed, then that means that this is going to be a relatively small file. So I'll just minimize that and go onto my desktop. Here's my little demo reel. Let's just see. I'll just put my cursor over the demo reel. Um, and you can see there that it's 37.1 megabytes, which is perfect. Let's just play it. So here is a movie file. There's our first one. And then that should go through into our second little movie file. So there's our demo reel completed. So of course this was a really simple explanation as to how to create um, a demo reel. Obviously you might have say three or four more clips than what I've done but the procedure would be exactly the same. Um, so I hope that was of benefit. If you know how to use any other packages like um, uh, Premiere um, or even you know uh, QuickTime Pro has, has some simple features for you to put together um, a a demo reel very very easily please feel free to use those but this was just really a quick tutorial to show you how you can import your clips into After Effects to make a, a very simple demo reel